What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Tyler Jacob, and we're hanging out with Gallo, the guy you know. Keep it locked right here. What's up? It's Nick Gallo, Gallo, the guy you know. I'm here with Tyler Jacob. What's up, bro? Man, what's going on, guys? How y'all doing today? <laughs> Thank you for having me. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. You know, I've been I've been following you for quite a few years now from like social media and just like your progress. Man, that means a lot yeah. to me. Thank you. I appreciate but um, it. you know, you said recently in an interview like you knew you wanted to do music at the age of five. Yes. When you played, I think Simba. I definitely played Simba in, yeah, in right? kindergarten. Yeah, yeah, it was it was one of my first times ever experiencing music. Okay, dope. and then like, what really like what age did you know seriously that you wanted to like 100 percent do it because i know it's still early you know five you're like okay i want to do it but you could be like that kid star or you could be right. wait until you're a little older um i mean i knew i knew i wanted to do it since since that day and yeah. uh when i played simba in kindergarten um but to do it as a career yeah it was when i uh was placed in a choir class in high school by accident um and the teacher that who her name was benita farmer she was like listen you can't be in a regular high school you have to be mm -hmm. somewhere um that's gonna help you get to where you want to be yeah and yeah. um that place for me was creative arts and okay. um Miss Suzette Ortiz, who was my vocal coach at that time, she really took the time with me to kind of like show me what it was that, because I had been delayed, I had come yeah. in off of cycle. Usually, uh, in order to even get into Creative Arts High School, you have to audition. Oh, okay, um, yeah, And yeah. they pull you in as a magnet school. So um, they let me come in and it's as a tenth grader, completely out of you know the, the what they require you to do. So they spent a lot of time with me, so I was really grateful, and that's what I also helped me like put more passion behind my yeah. music. Yeah. Okay, dope. Yeah, and I know, I think, like, your first single was, official single, I guess, was Face to Face. Yes, wow, well, yeah, throwback. And, yeah, throwback, right? So, <laughs> you know, I know you then moved from Jersey yes. to L.A. So, how how was it for you? Because I'm still getting immune to it. I mean, it's a, I'm from Chicago, so it's... It's a change, um, it you know. It was definitely an interesting uh, change for me, only because I went from New Jersey first to New York. Yeah. And so even even that dynamic that was from little, South yeah. Jersey to 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 the North Side, um, it was difficult for me to, to change in terms of pace. Even though it was city to city, it was like a way faster mm -hmm. city. Coming over here, it's a city <laughs> still, but it's much more chill and relaxed. Yeah. But people are still doing their thing. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So you're coming at it in a, in a different angle. So I had to learn that. Still learning that. Yeah. <laughs> um, but definitely. I, I love there's something about New York that I just love as far as like going out there and working and like just staying busy New yeah. York helps you stay in line with where you want to go definitely definitely and like growing up who were your musical influences because I'm sure they've changed <laughs> now but you know growing up you always have you know I mean to be to honest it. with you if we want to be a hundred percent honest yeah. Um, it would have to be like the Ushers, uh, Chris Brown, um, Brandy, um, Maya. <laughs> oh my God, it was so many. Cisco, Drew Hill. It was a lot of R&B cats back yeah. in the day. They were just rocking the um, 112. Oh, 112 that, that I loved um, <laughs> growing up. Those are the, my entire play. Even to this day, I still listen to that to that type of music. Yeah, so dope. R&B. Yeah, <laughs> uh, me too. That's all I know. <laughs> but, you know, I know you took a huge break from music. I did take a huge break. I took about eight years off. Yeah, eight yeah. years. So, like, was it weird getting back or did it just flow you know what i'm saying because i know some people it's yeah honestly it was like i never and i technically on a technical level i never really left it's like i left from the scene you know yeah, what i mean it's, yeah where um where i was not confident enough to put out my music i wasn't in a place mentally where i had given enough love to the fact that people weren't accepting who i was a hundred percent so with that i had checked out and so then coming to LA it helped me understand that there's a different lane you know mm -hmm. what I mean that I had my own entire situation and that it wasn't about what everybody else was doing it was yeah. about where I was going and where um and what I wanted to do and yeah. so now it's a different approach so coming into it again after eight years it was like a breeze because it, it's it's what I'm born to do yeah. you know what I mean so it's kind of like second nature for me okay and that's not and that's not an arrogant bone in my body no, you know yeah, what I mean yeah, it's, it's, it's more so real. just like when you know what you want to do mm -hmm. and you put the work behind it then it's, it's inevitable for that to be something that you feel confident behind yeah and like one thing I could applaud you about is really like you left your label because yeah. you didn't like the way well, was that a hard decision? Because I'm sure you were, it was you were definitely so a young. mutual decision. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where it was a, 
the head of my label and I were were back and forth a lot with my with the vision of who yeah. I wanted who I was as an artist. You know what I mm. mean? And at that time, I wanted to be free. I wanted yeah. to be free as far as as who I was, and um. And New York City was not there yet. Yeah. Even though they they're, they're, they've moved a lot forward now, but they were not there yet in 2011 for sure. Yeah. So I didn't feel comfortable um, being a part of a situation that they didn't want me to be me 100%. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And and I had to come to I had to come to that understanding later on in life. Yeah. As to like what what happened there because mm-hmm. for a long time I was really confused and for a second too. Yeah. And like, have, do you feel like LA? Would you say now is like home because? I know some people I know, they're like, oh, LA's home. I'm like, okay, well, you've been here 10 years, so I guess it makes sense. But some people are like, nah, you know, someone will always be home. This is just, you know, business work. No, yeah, I, yeah. I, you know what's crazy? Every time I leave LA, I always say I'm done with LA, and then I, I miss it. Like, I don't understand. Yeah. Like, I'll tell someone, like, you know what? I'm ready to go to New York. I'm ready to go to Jersey, whatever, whatever. I'll be there for a week or two, and yeah. I'm like, oh, my God, I want to go back home. home. And not realizing, damn, LA yeah. really has become home for me. But um, I'm ready for something new, though. I'm ready for okay. London. You're like, okay. <laughs> dope spot. I can't complain. London is dope. Never been, yeah. but I'm ready. Just okay. like, I've never been to LA, but I, I, you know what I mean? I, I made it out here, so I'm, I'm excited for the next Duh. chapter. There. Dope, dope. Yeah, and one thing I want—I love your covers. I still love your Adele cover. Thank you so much. So, like, do you want to get into that again, or would you just want to, or do both? Like, you know, your own music and because I love covering. I, the, the, every time I cover a song, I cover a song because I I wish that that song yeah, was mine. Man. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and um, so so definitely, that's definitely something that I'm gonna get back into. I haven't posted on YouTube in two years. That's and, crazy. Um, and this, it is crazy because one of my biggest, uh, I guess platform yeah you know what i mean so Mm -hmm. definitely got to get back into that sorry youtube (laughs) (laughs) yeah well you know another thing i know you just came from new york fashion week oh my god the blessings yeah la fashion week's going on right now yes i mean how just did three shows yeah so how how's this whole world of like modeling like what it like did you know you want to do that when you were doing music like hey i'm gonna incorporate this right away or you know if it flows right i'll get into modeling too I've always loved modeling. Okay. Like I've always loved um, fashion. Even when I was in high school, you know, we, I, I was blessed enough to go to a high school that was filled with nothing but creatives. Yeah. Um, so at all times, everyone was trying to think outside of the box on how to mm-hmm. outdo the next person. Yeah. I'm not a competition <laughs> person. I've always been in my own lane. You know what I mean? So I, when it comes to that, I've always just been very strategic with what I put on or what yeah. the, the things that I that I like to create myself mm-hmm. from scratch um yeah so I've, I've always had that like itch okay. and so bringing that into life uh later on when i met my fiance mm-hmm. um it was just a brand new world you know what i yeah. mean it was like whoa now i can see fashion from a place of not only wearing the clothes but it being a business yeah. it being um something where i can create and sell and or even express myself mm-hmm. it became such a bigger situation to me than just clothing you know what i yeah. mean so yeah definitely dope dope well no back to music i mean i know you're dropping new music soon mm-hmm. so what how is it different around this point and what do you want to do with your music this time around um what i love about this time is that i have free reign to do whatever it is that i want you know what i mean like there's no one telling me what sound i need to sound like there's no one telling me when i need to put it out and i've been i've 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 put out dates because i've been attached to other people before Mm -hmm. as far as like labels and stuff like that and those dates didn't come about only because I'm, I'm very I'm I, I have to be honest with everybody you know what I mean mm-hmm. I'm very I'm a, I'm a very perfectionist type of person and I just don't like to put things out unless I feel 100% with it and so like that's why I went into the fashion world because yeah. it's just like it's the easiest way to express myself but at the same time still be able to work on music make uh-huh. some money all over the place you know what I mean <laughs> for sure and, you um, definitely and put the love in my music that it deserves yeah. because like it's been of a long time of just recording and recording and recording and recording. Mm-hmm. So uh, another thing that, that that's good about that is that it, it allowed me the opportunity to be able to share my story from the actual moment that yeah. it happened. Do you know what I mean? Where I have songs that were recorded in 2011. I have songs that were recorded in 2015 and 2016. It's just all over time. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, it's a perfect timeline. Dope, dope. Yeah. And you know, you, I know you've done, let's talk about Unbothered Tour. Hell yeah. <laughs> so, what was Anaheim? You had what, October 10th? Anaheim, uh, we did uh, October 10th, yeah, which was uh, M- Michael Mann's birthday. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. So, how, first of all, how was it? 
It was so much fun, stage, which yeah. is a uh, shout out to Son of Groove for allowing me to be a part of that situation. Um, it was it was the first time in the tour that we used full band across. Oh, so know. it was a really it was a fun experience to just feel the vibe yeah. of the music being super live. Um, the next one is October 22nd at the Resident yeah. Downtown LA, which I'm super happy about because um, it's a bomb ass venue. Is it? Okay. Um, yes, yeah, so oh. it has food trucks. You have drinks. You have a bomb stage, uh, VIP section, mm -hmm. lots of room for people to smoke, do whatever you got to do <laughs> um so it's a, i'm really excited about that one for sure yeah and how how was it just being back on stage though because i know it's been a minute oh, man to be like, my life. like <laughs> stage is what makes me happy like yeah. if there's anything i could do for the rest of my life and be okay not making a dollar or just being on a stage performer for a whole bunch of people i'll be fine with doing that yeah okay. as long as i have my <laughs> as long as i have my you know what i'm saying yeah yeah the regulars the regulars exactly <laughs> <laughs> well i guess in five years where where would you want to be? Where, what are like some things you need to check off your to-do list where you're like, okay. Well, in five years, I would have already acquired generational wealth. Okay. Um, <laughs> because that is one of the things that I really want to break as far as the cycles in my family. Mm -hmm. I want to not only make enough money for myself, but make enough money for them to make enough money for that, them, yeah. them, 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 them. Um, and so that's hopefully in five years, I'll be there. I also want to... Um, I want to open an organization um, that is for people who are struggling, yeah. um, artists in particular who are struggling and, and have great talent, but they don't really have the resources to get to mm -hmm. where they need to get. Um, That's I want to, I want to, yeah, <laughs> definitely want to help those artists like that. And then I also want to push my clothing line. I want it to already be uh, on Vogue and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I just have so many creative things that I want to do that are already started. You know what yeah. I mean? It's just, in five years, I would already want them to be at the most evolved okay. form. Okay. Well, no, going to clothing. Yes. You know, would you want to do like, because, you know, clothing, it's so, such a wide right. span. Oh, I mean, you yeah. could be high fashion to department stores high and fashion still make all day. high fashion. <laughs> like, would you want to do only high fashion or would you like to do like everything across the board? Because there's money everywhere. No, I hear <laughs> that. I them. definitely wouldn't mind dibbling and dabbling into the basics, like yeah. doing like basic tees or mm -hmm. a graphic tee here and there. But yeah. as far as like my fashion and what I, I, I want to really delve into the high fashion world okay. and give the looks that a lot of people are scared to, uh -huh. to do. You know what I mean? But I think that God gave me the canvas that he gave me in order for yeah. me to be able to be the, I guess, the, the, the light for that, that situation. Yeah. So I'm happy to be it. Yeah. No, <laughs> one thing I want to quote you, I like that you posted. And then I, I say this all the time because I'm like, okay, I know what you said. Uh, don't know me now. I won't know you later. Oh, my God. I just posted so, that. Yeah, you just posted that. Like, I thought it was so dope because, like, how, how has it been with people? Because, you know, people are so wishy-washy. Oh I mean, God. I know how it is just... You know, when you post something, they want to be your best friend, and then two minutes later, they're talking about you. And no, yeah, it's just you know, I don't focus on it enough yeah. to to know what what that feeling is when people, I guess, hate. Yeah. Um. But the reason why I, I posted that is because a lot of the people, when you walk into these events, that you're mm -hmm. in the, and they don't understand you're in the same event that they are. You know what I mean? Yeah. Whether you <laughs> whether you want to consider me an up and coming artist, an established artist, or whatever the case mm -hmm. may be, I'm making money on the same job you're making. Yeah. I'm on the same venue you are. I am in the same place you are. Uh -huh. So there's nothing you're doing that I'm not doing it and that's again that's not an, that's not arrogance that's just like shouting out to the people who want to be rude to you when they see you you yeah. know who I am exactly. I've spoken to you I've been in your home I've I've shared things with you but yet you want to you want to play the celebrity yeah. card which is great <laughs> and you know do your thing I'm just I'm just not there I'm not that person you know what yeah. I mean I know people are all the same across the board mm -hmm. I've never I've never classified somebody being under or above yep. and when I see that happen it kind of it kind of it kinda sets me off a little bit you know what I mean yeah. so that's why that's why I posted because that. <laughs> no, I went I to an event yeah. and there was some people who were like <laughs> acting funny and you gotta you just gotta smile and walk by them and yeah. understand that listen <laughs> you didn't know me now <laughs> And that's great, but I'm not going to know you later. Let's exactly. be clear. <laughs> For real. It's and I'm definitely going to... I'm already somebody, so it's, it's, it's all good and, yeah. and gravy. Well, no, yeah, I, I like that a lot. Because like, <laughs> I you. could never say that. Because you know, like I'm always the same way, you know, quiet, kind of, you know, smile. Hey, how are you? You know, hi, bye. And then yeah. it's just like, I peep what you're doing, but And even the I energy they give off sometimes. Exactly. You know, like, you, I mean? know like, you could tell their body language right yeah, away. It's like, like, they're okay. trying to look at you like, hold on, how are you here? Exactly. That's oh, who, and I, or, that's or they say like, is. oh, who are you here with? And I'm right. just like, yeah. oh, so it's like <laughs> that. But okay, I, I, I got you. I'm going to 
I'm gonna keep that in the back of my and mind. It's always and love. It it's always love. Yeah, exactly. It's There's no love. hate. It's just <laughs> exactly not. But no, I want to do a little game. It's just Hell something yeah, different. So just uh, what's your fave? So uh, favorite color? Blue. Blue. Okay. Uh, actor. Brandy. Brandy. Okay. Uh, drink alcoholic and non-alcoholic. Strawberry margarita frozen with sugar. Okay. Um, and then non-alcoholic would be the body armor. Right. Okay. Uh, strawberry kiwi. kiwi. Strawberry banana flavor. Okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> How about a uh, favorite TV show? Fuck. I don't even watch TV. TV. I would have to say Sex in the City if I had to if I had to choose a show. Okay. Uh, favorite fast food chain. Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box. <laughs> <laughs> that crispy chicken sandwich <laughs> with cheese. <laughs> How about uh, your favorite stylist? Colin Carter. Okay. Uh, favorite singer? Favorite alive star stylist, Colin Carter. Favorite passed away, Michael Mann, of course. Okay. Dope. Uh, favorite singer? Favorite singer is myself. Yourself? Okay. I like that. <laughs> uh, favorite pastime? My favorite pastime... <laughs> I would have to say is singing. Sing? Okay. Yeah. That's oh, wait, I feel like I'm singing all the time. Okay. Uh, how about a favorite holiday? Christmas. Christmas? Yeah, I know. It's a hard one for me, I feel. It's just... Uh, my birthday is my favorite. favorite. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. How about a uh, favorite movie? Titanic. Titanic? Okay. Uh, favorite meal? And the notebook. Mm -hmm. um, my favorite meal would have to be... You know what a patelillo is? Mm -mm. It's a Puerto Rican like beef patty. Oh, okay. but it's not beef. It's beef patty is like the closest thing you can get to it, but it's like it's shaped in a different way. It's like kind of like a half moon. Okay. Um, and they sell those a lot in New York, and I love those. I awesome. think those would have to be my favorite. Yeah. That with some rice. <laughs> Yeah, I know the things that I never rice. eat, yeah, right? Yeah. Things that I never eat, but that would be like my favorite meal to eat if I could. <laughs> <laughs> I would, uh, favorite piece of clothing? Hmm. Favorite piece of clothing? I would have to say Rick Owens has some really nice pieces. Okay. So my favorite piece of clothing would be a long tank top that he's he's made that comes mm -hmm. like down to my ankles, super ripped. I've worn it many many times. I'm one of the only items that I repeat over and over and over again. Okay, don't do <laughs> yeah, Rick on his tank top. <laughs> Last one. Uh, favorite season. My favorite season is winter, and I and I, it used to be summer my entire life. I love I've winter. I realize winter. Way. I love wearing layers. I love mm -hmm. putting myself under a cover and turning the the heat on. Like I love feeling cozy. Yeah. No. And one thing I want to just applaud you, like because I feel, you know, some people are doing it, but not enough. Like talking about how you, your struggles and you're just honest. Because so many people, like I think, um, I think you did in a recent interview talking about like check on the people that are good, yeah. good. Right. No, just yeah. because they're happy and you see the instagram it's all you know it's just all a front because it's, right, it's, it's just social media it's i mean it's just media. so like i applaud you on that and just keeping it real and because i feel like most people don't do that with the friends that are good well, yeah, it's always they they always check on the friends that are like always the victim right and and, and, and one of the th i'm glad you said that because a lot of the times people don't understand that on a manipulative level when people are thinking that the person who is constantly yelling out for help of struggle, yeah. not saying that that person is not in need of help, mm -hmm. but most times those people are, are attention seeking. Not exactly. all of them, but a lot of them, but are. a lot of them because they've come, yeah. they become a, a, accustomed to a cycle mm -hmm. and what they're programmed to, to believe. You know what I mean? And that's yeah. gen just generation after generation of them being who they, of that personality trait. You yeah. know what I mean? But then the people who are good, those people are also under that same situation, but in a different way. You know what exactly. I mean? Where they're used to not really ex expressing themselves and who, and what's going on inside. Because I bottle it up. Yeah. I don't. And then, <laughs> you for a long never time, I bottled it up too. Yeah, you know what I mean? Poker face all day. Yeah. And, and then it's just people don't even I'm trying know. to work on, yeah. but it, it's hard. Like. And, and and those are the people that you need to say, like, hey, are you okay? Like, mm -hmm. what's going on? Like, I get that. I get that. There's a lot of great things mm -hmm. going on yeah. for you, but like, what's what's happening for real? And and a lot of people don't do that because they're they're so quick to want to get something from mm -hmm. you, or they're so quick to want to be a part of what you got yep. going on that they're not really taking. They're not really checking into into the person and what that and what that needs to be in order for yeah. it to continue going you know what i mean exactly so. no yeah i appreciate you for that but you know it's almost end of 2009 i can't believe it's gonna be 2020 wow. like 
twenty twenty. I remember still when it was two thousand. Twenty twenty. The millennium was happening, and thought the world was gonna end. Y two K. Yeah, Y two K. Exactly. That's crazy. So I remember that too, being so scared. Cause oh my god, I remember okay. when it hit like New Year's Eve. I was yeah. like. <laughs> Bracing myself. Like. I, I know that my mom and dad can remember. They went out and bought like loads the, of like water generators and, all and the water stuff. and like, <laughs> yeah, that was a crazy time. Yeah, but you know what? What do you want to do the rest of? What do you want to accomplish still the rest of this year? Because we have what almost two and a half months, maybe. I and definitely want to already be in London by the end of this year. Um, but I want to. I want to wrap this tour off really, really strong. Okay. Um, we've been doing really, really good. My boy Rick Star and I. Yeah. Uh, we are on the Unbothered tour. We uh, already done four dates. Mm-hmm. And super successful. This time, though, on October 22nd at the Resident Downtown LA is the first time we're headlining the tour. Okay, dope. Um, where it's literally just him and I. We have three openers, Monet, Dios, and um, and another one who's pending. Um, but I'm so excited to have them be a part of um, of this. Actually, it's a Yell. Her name is Yell. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, she's the third act. And... Um, and yes, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be an amazing thing. At the end of this year, I want to be in the millions already. Millions? Okay, dope, dope. <laughs> <laughs> and what's what's one piece of advice you want to end this interview with? Like, what's one piece of advice you either gotten from someone? Because this industry, it's a beast. Regardless if it's music, you know, fashion, movie, anything, it's no, yeah. it'll take a lot out of you. I mean, to anyone. My biggest advice would be to stick with your friends and family mm. and throughout everything understand that they are your foundation. They're your, yeah. they're the people who are going to still be there when all the lights <laughs> and the stuff turn off. Um, and, uh, and really like keep that foundation strong. Um, and, and learn how to be happy through all of it, through the, through the good or what you classify as bad. Yeah. Um, one thing that I've learned in this situation, even being as young as I am, um, is understanding that even in the bad times, those things have taught me such great lessons mm-hmm. or they've put me in such great situations that have yeah. allowed me to like just propel forward. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So I would, I would honestly say enjoy every moment. Always learn from what's happening in your life at that moment like choose to learn yeah don't don't just be sad or don't just be mad or be happy Mm -hmm. why are you happy why are you sad why are you mad and address those situations and and like move forward in a way that's productive and not (laughs) not not self-pity not not sitting back and not going into the now and figuring out what are the situations that can yeah. solve the solution you know i mean solve the problem be a solution oriented yeah that would be my advice okay dope. well no tyler <laughs> i want to wish you like all the best of luck like i said keep going no, keep thank doing you your so thing. much i'm so happy i've been watching like i said just everything you've been doing like for a couple pretty probably close to like four to five years maybe that man that longer. means so much to me yeah man. but um, i really appreciate you yeah keep going good luck on the tour can't wait to check it out on the oh, yeah i'm by the tour please yes. y'all check us out october 22nd <laughs> next stop resident downtown la my boy rick star is going to be there he's a really gro- great artist from the uk and i'm su- super excited to have him a part of the set so yeah please check us out yeah and it's uh nick gallo gay the guy you know here with tally jacob hey <laughs> you guys are checking out nick gallo make sure you guys stick keep it locked right here